What do you call someone who speaks two? Bilingual. And what do you call someone who speaks just one? An American. Corny, right? Well, the joke is actually grounded in some truth. Only 18% of Americans can speak a language other than English, whereas 53% of Europeans can speak more than one language. And 99% of Latvians can speak more than one language. So why are we so bad at learning other languages? It has long been thought that learning a second language too young can hinder a child's intellectual development, which is part of the reason foreign language lessons start in 6th or 7th grade in many schools across the U.S. We now know that being bilingual actually has many beneficial side effects and grows many parts of the brain at a young age. We also know that it's much more difficult to become fluent in a language learned after puberty than a language you learn as a young child. So here are some of the many benefits and few drawbacks of acquiring a second language at a young age. Early researchers thought if a person obtained a second language too early, the two language systems would obstruct each other, making it more difficult to master either, and making a person worse at both languages. They were only partially wrong. Turns out one language system can indeed obstruct the other in early years. However, researchers are now finding that this process forces the brain to strengthen its cognitive muscles to resolve this internal conflict, essentially making us smarter and making our brains stronger. Researchers have found that the minds of bilinguals are better at adapting to changing stimuli than the minds of monolinguals, especially at a young age. Scientists think that's because the brain's command center, which is responsible for problem solving, planning, and directing one's attention, is more nimble in bilinguals than it is in monolinguals. So what are the drawbacks? Well, scientists say that monolinguals tend to have a wider vocabulary as children in bilinguals and are able to more quickly access the words they are looking for. However, most bilinguals are able to catch up with vocabulary acquisition at a later age. Science has also found a few other benefits of speaking more than one language. One study showed that dementia set in an average of four years later in bilinguals than it did in people who speak only one language. Another showed that bilingualism is equated with a 2.8% increase in hourly wages. Aside from all that science, speaking more than one language is great because you can make friends with more people, which is always a good thing. Slideshow from current slide. Okay, there are plenty of benefits to being bilingual, like you just heard. It improves motor skills, brain cognition, and it's an overall asset to your personality, uh, personally, and it can be to your career or potential career. Uh, not only is it important to learn a second, la uh, second language, but it's crucial that you do it early through language development, <laughs> early language development. Um, all these benefits can be received if you do it early. Um, the U.S. contains a lot of different cultures and there's many different spoken languages here, so I think it's very important that we try to learn these languages and try to become bilingual so we can bring people closer to culture and enrichment and understanding. In learning a new language, yeah, the age is really a crucial factor. I think at the age of 14, it gets really, really difficult after that to learn a language. The accent is very strong. Um, it, like most schools in the U.S., they have foreign language departments, but they don't consider it a necessity. It's only like a luxury, which is pretty bad. It should be like a necessity. It's really important to be bilingual. And only about, it's said in the video, like 18%, but like 20% of Americans consider themselves bilingual, and more than 50% of Europeans consider themselves bilingual. They've done this through early language development. So some additional benefits of becoming bilingual, uh, a research was found, was found, and you would have a higher IQ, you would improve your language skills and have a larger vocabulary. You would also have uh, better, more jobs opportunities in the market. So, like, if you want to travel everywhere, like, if you ha if you learned and, and knew different languages, it would be it would be, you'll be more accessible to the job, and you would have higher order thinking and broader worldview, and you would increase your perception.
why and also why learn a different language later and like why learn other languages like um, earlier in your life. You have uh, you have your brain has um, denser gray matter, which allows you to process information faster and it allows you to learn at a faster rate. And also, you have like more confidence learning a second language because you're not grown up and you don't. You're, they're, you're, once you're a kid, you're not afraid to like mispronounce something or like learn something new. And you have academic benefits and career benefits later in life, so you can learn a better job. Um, it is very important for kids to start learning another language at a very young age due to the fact that it helps them fulfill their need of curiosity and also fulfills their satisfaction of learning. It also helps them become better readers, and it also helps um, positively affect brain structure, and also can lead to for over in due time, for old age, possibly prevent like brain diseases. There are certain actions one can take in order to become more valuable. Um, traveling around the world, um, exposing you to different cultures, dialects, and different languages across the world, practicing with your peers, um, improves your pronunciation. Of that language you're trying to learn, and also watching <coughs> little movies on the type of language you want to learn. Other benefits of being bilingual, also um, being able to speak more <coughs> languages, is you're less likely to drop out of high school, less likely to be in need of government assistance, you're also more likely to own a home or business, and you're also more likely to obtain a job. So, bringing attention to the world. So in daily life, uh, you can see that many kinds of languages, such as Arabic, Spanish, or Chinese, <coughs> and using second language makes uh, make it easier to communicate uh, like, you know, with the people who don't speak English. And if you are bilingual, uh, you can make your life easier, like better on the business and like, the academic field. So when you have the job, like. Buying down the that's your strong point. And <coughs> so US doesn't have the national requirement for students to learn <coughs> second language in school while the other countries, European or Asian countries, have like education system of being bilingual. So therefore, so US students should be required to learn second language in school by US government. <laughs> And if you travel to foreign countries, and you could speak a like, second language, so you could build a good or better uh, relationship uh, with the people who live there. Uh, you see many benefits of the language uh, bilingual from traveling overseas. <coughs> so company, usually some companies post a job advertisement for bilingual workers. So these numbers will be going up like, every year because of the globalization. So and high level of human interactions, which is a nursing the bankers. So nurse has to talk with the patient, the bankers have to communicate with the customers. So they need a bilingual workplace. So, and so children brains are uh, more flexible to learn the new information, <coughs> like uh, creativity and so problem solving. So, <coughs> yeah, there are many benefits. There are certain benefits of becoming like more bilingual. Becoming bilingual um, it makes us understand different cultures of the world. It also um, gives a good head start for you know, higher institution that is college, especially for students planning on going abroad to study. It also promotes employment opportunities today, companies look for potential employees that have the ability to speak more than one language. And also uh, hinders language barriers and improves your intellectual. Um, in conclusion, it has been more, it has been proven to be more and more beneficial to be able to speak multiple languages to the kids and to adults due to the fact that as a child, being able to speak multiple languages, it helps you with your social skills and also strives you to learn more. And as an adult, you're more likely to obtain a job, more likely to, well, pretty much um, be able to, yeah, support yourself.
So, um, my personal experience, I came to this country when I was nine years old and it was rather easy for me to learn a new language and rather than my cousins who are 19 and 18 now and they've been here for, they've been in this country for two years and like the difference of the amount that, of English that they've learned is like immensely not compared to like how much I learned in my, in my first two years. So I feel like if you learn at an like, earlier age, it's, it's way easier for you to learn a new language. My personal experience, I don't know any other languages but English. Um, although my grandmother came over from Italy and my grandfather, they both spoke Italian to each other. And instead of teaching my dad and their son how to speak Italian, they kept it as a secret language. And I think that's really ignorant because they had the ability to teach my dad and his sisters, my aunts, Italian. We could have potentially learned Italian, me, my cousins, and my siblings, but we didn't because of the secret language that was so beneficial to them. Um, I also came in this country when I was nine years old, and when I first got here, it was, I ended up learning English in like a couple of months, but funny story is that um, when I started working when I was a teenager, I got hired at a, at a Staples, right, and funny story is that um, I was the only person in there that could speak more than one English, and there was a customer who was only able to speak her own, and he was looking for a specific item that nobody could help him find out. So they ended up calling me and yeah, if no like no managers would be able to help him because only one of my managers was able to speak Spanish. Besides that, everybody else knew how to speak English. And no French or Creole. So I ended up helping him and it was beneficial to his business because if I was not there pretty much we had no sales. <coughs> so uh, I was born and uh, grew up in Japan, so I came here like two years ago. Uh, so usually the Japanese students started learning English since fifth grade, sixth grade, but pretty much uh, we studied uh, writing and reading, so we don't practice speaking and listening. So now I still practice uh, listening and speaking English. So, yeah. My personal experience is that I've been I'm an international student from Nigeria, and I've been traveling around the world um, since the age of five, so adapting in the U.S. is a uh, not really hard for me. And I've been able to learn and learn several different types of languages across the world. Thank you. That was all. Questions? Um, so, personal experiences. Awesome. Love the pictures in the front. I would have, I would have actually started with that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. When your pictures were up on the slide, yeah, sure. because one of the things I want is sort of like why, and I'm asking all the teams, right? Why did you pick this topic? So you're trying, you're trying to get the audience engaged in your topic. You know, why is it important to me? Obviously, you all have a story, which is really, which is really cool, right? They're all a little different, but they're all language related. That sets the tone for the audience, right? The audience says, oh, wow, yeah, okay, I want to listen to this now, right? Okay, so this audience is older, right? Because we're college kids and older, right? What would be a good audience for this? Who would be a good audience for this? I think children. Younger children. For me, I would, I would say parents. The children? Yeah, children. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> young parents, young I would parents, say. Yeah. Young parents with, with very young children, right? Because what, what I heard you say was, and I know this is true, you learn the language when you're young. Like yeah. it becomes ingrained yeah. in you very, very young. Yeah. You know, so um, my husband moved here from Germany when he was when he was four. And later in life when we'd go back to Germany, he was fluent and still had the still had the 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 the, the the nuances of the area, because he, but he was four when he moved away, but he could still speak it fluently, like he had never left. Yeah. So it does it does make it does make a difference. And it also makes a difference because like children aren't afraid to speak up and like they're not afraid to learn something, but like rather me. Like, if There's I no try, fear, right? Yeah, There's no fear of the failure. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So you're just and you and I think your your brain just absorbs it differently. Yeah. yeah. Other questions, <coughs> comments. All right. 